hello guys can you check this application out when we say submit it says colors required now let's try selecting all green blue yellow red good nice submit it so that is that we can we have them here now we can just use select all and when we say submit it gives us the gives us select all yes and color red yellow blue green so that is that guys let's develop this using we got hook form if you want to type along with me kindly install the following one npm install tailwind css slash forms and two npm install we are to form now a quick one with it we have to form let's copy that go to google then paste it there now take the npm then we go to after the npm install there's another thing called require in the plugin we need to do so we copy that then we go to the tailwind.config.jss file so that is that then you paste it here so this is mine so that is that guys with all said and done let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating two folders in our src folder call the first one assets then we'll call the second one components now let's do the first one assets we have no spinach or images in this application so we leave it blank move to the second one create a file and call it select o app Yes. Instead of RFCE, instead of ordinary div, why don't we make it we add the fragment? So inside I will create a section, then we create a div and say hello. Let's link that to the app.js to view on the screen. So we call select all app good that we import it import good from where from components then select all again now let's check our screen if we get hello on the screen great we get hello on the screen so let's begin position everything since mobile first close that up the js now let's take the hello off and create a form into a form so inside the form let's create a view for the background let's give it a class name bg white with auto height auto pb10 mt16 mx5 and rounded lg now let's create the header section so we say header section so with the header section let's create a div and a p tag and inside I'll give it a p tag and call it favorite color let's give that a class name with uppercase font boot text for a test center and let's give it some height we'll give it a class name and say height 24 flex justify center item center and shadow so that is that for the header now let's go to the body section so it's a body section but now in the body section let's give it a div inside this div let's call another div so inside this div let's get two divs one two good now let's take the first one let's give it an input good and the type the type good because check box good. so that is that let's give it a p tag and call it select all good now let's give them let's give the input some class name good what else let's give the select all to some class name good so we give it test for excel so what we can do next is to uh, flex them so we use their parent div and say flex space x4 and items center so that is the let's try and give it some margin so we go to the mother div there 
can give me some MT10, MX10, and some space Y6. Good. Now let's create, let's copy this four more times in the second div. So over here, we come here. Let's copy all this div. And we go to the second one. Then say red section. Good. Let's paste it there. Good. And change the name to red. Good. Now let's do likewise for the next session. So the next session is going to be yellow section. So we say paste it there and change the name to yellow. Let's do the next one. Blue section. Paste it there. Last one, green section. Green section. Good. Let's paste it there. Good. So that is that. Let's give them some class name with some spacing and push it to the right a little. So we go the apparent div. Yeah, this is the apparent div. Then we give it a class name and say grid justifies and a space y five so that is that guys lastly let's create the submit button so we go after the div over here then we can say submit section good so we create a div and give it an input submit value submit and class name with let's give it to fourth height 14 bg blue text white font build rounded lg text for excel then we flex it we position it to the middle of the screen so that is that with the button now i guess we're ready for validation so to begin validation let's go to google and type we are at full form then inside that we go to get started We've done the NPM already, so let's import it. Here we can make this bigger. Then let's import. Good. Next, we handle the events. So we say handle events. Good. So we go and check the handle events. Copy that and paste it there so the next one is going to be handle handle submit let's go check it out good we copy that too and we paste it here now it's console log data let's make it alert data alert into bracket json dot stringify into bracket data so that is that. Next, let's look at the unsubmit on the form. So we check the unsubmit on the form. Copy that too. Then paste it there. Good. Now let's check our app app. So when we say submit, it displays an empty data. So that's that, guys. Now let's see how we can handle each input. So we go back. Let's copy the sample register last name here and paste it there and say register. Let's call it select all. Then required is true. Let's make this dynamic. So we say give it back here. And then okay you can say give it a value value true come on message we say color 
this one required good we're going to copy this for the other check boxes so we just copy that and go to the next one after the class name we paste it there then change the name to color color then we say color is required that is it so you copy this red section to the next one the rest are going to be the same after the class name and paste it there color required to color is required so that's that let's go to the next one blue session after the class name paste it there required color is required the next one is the green section after the class name paste it there so that is that now let's handle the error and before that let's go to the first one and clean uh, the select all we did and take it off we don't need validation for select all so we'll take it off so that is that next let's give them a value so after the type let's give the value equals all then we go to the next one and copy this value we go to the next one after the type let's say value is going to be red and go to the next one yellow after the type value is going to be yellow then let's go to the next one value is going to be blue then go to the next one value is going to be green so that is that next let's handle the error so over here we copy the example error then paste it good now the error let's check it out after the still for let's take it to the next div you can put it here yeah so that is that so let's put the error here let's go copy it okay then put our error message here yeah but good so we have errors that example let's take the name to colors uh, color and span the span tag let's make it dynamic so let's open our bracket then we say errors dot color dot message so that is that we can check it out if we see submit it says color is required now let's give it some class name so we say class name let's give it equals test word 500 so that is that so when we check it out we submit you can see the color red yellow blue green select all is false it's not part so now we need to get the inputs for select so that we can link it to the colors so to do that we use watch so let's go to our uh, up there then this watch over here let's call select so we say const select all equals to watch to bracket select all for the select all is the name we give to the the that checkbox so right select all so that is it so we can console log it and see so we say console dot log to bracket select all come on select all okay let's check it out so when we cons inspect yeah so when we 
you can see you can see the select all force all force all force all. so let's give it so we're going to bring that to the and close this good so over here now let's now this is the check off after let's go to red session red session after the class name we can say check good so once you see that this thing is checked for us so let's make this check dynamic so we give equal sign and say when there's a value in select all select all then it should check so over here look at something when i say when i click it checks so we're gonna copy this to the others too then after the class name push it there checks let's copy it to the next one too get the last one could be a so, so check so that is that guys finally we submit and we say color yellow yet color red yellow blue green all is checked so that is that guys finally let's make our app responsive then we can say cheers so to do that let's go to the mother deal where the background is the white background add more classes over here we can say at small screen make the width full medium screen make the width for fit at same medium screen make the uh, mx auto then at large screen make the width to fit and make the same uh, mx auto so let's check it out so that is that guys thank you for sticking to please don't forget to do good catch you in the next one we say peace